So in this problem, we have to figure out how much calcium is going to be in a certain size sample of chalk, which is also known as calcium carbonate. Now there's two parts to this problem. The first part is trying to figure out what percentage of calcium carbonate is made up of calcium. Doesn't matter how big or how small this sample size of calcium carbonate is, it's always going to be made up of a certain amount of calcium, a certain amount of carbon, and a certain amount of oxygen. So we first have to figure out what is that percentage of, in this case, just calcium, because that's all we worry about. So this is our first step. Our second step is, once we know how much uh, calcium is in calcium carbonate, then we're going to multiply that percentage times this sample size. But we're going to worry about that later. So for now, ignore this information. Just worry about figuring out the percentage of calcium. Let's do this first, and then we'll do this second. So our formula is calcium carbonate. We can use this formula to figure out the molar mass of this total compound. So calcium, if we look at the formula, there's an imaginary one there. Carbon, again, there's no subscript after it, so it's an imaginary one. And oxygen, we see this three. So there's three oxygens. So calcium, if we look on the periodic table, has a molar mass of 40.1 grams. So 40.1 times one is still 40.1. Carbon, if we look on the periodic table, has a molar mass of 12 grams. One times 12 is still 12. And if we look at oxygen on the periodic table, it's 16 grams. 3 times 16 is 48 grams. So if we add all of this up, we come up with a molar mass of 100.1 grams. This is our total. So if we had one mole of calcium carbonate, it would have a mass of 100.1 grams. So what we're going to do now is figure out the percent of calcium in this compound. So we take the mass that's calcium, 40.1, we divide it by the whole thing, 100.1. Oops, 100.1. And if we do that, multiply it by 100, of course. If we do that, we realize 40.1 divided by 100.1 times 100, these numbers basically cancel out. And it comes out to 40.1% calcium. So again, it doesn't matter if you have an unbelievably tiny sample or a huge sample of calcium carbonate, it's still always going to be made up of 40.1% calcium. Now let's take that into consideration and let's use this bit of information now. We know that no matter how big or how small it's 40.1% calcium, we know exactly how big or how small it is. We know it's going to be 24.5%. So we take our total sample size and we multiply it by its percent and we'll figure out how many grams of calcium are in here. Now a couple things, whenever you have a percent and you're trying to do some math, you want to get rid of the percent sign and you want to divide by 100, move that decimal point over. So when you type it in your calculator, it's 24.5 times 0 0.401. And when you do that, you're going to get your final answer, which is 9.70 grams. And this is how many grams of calcium are in this particular sample size. Now remember, if that sample size is bigger or smaller, this amount will change, the amount of calcium in there, but the percentage will always stay the same. So we can use that percentage to figure out how much calcium is in any sample size, regardless of how big or how small it is, just multiply percent times sample size.